All right, all right, all right. Well, back with the Eco Mobile M24 Beastie Beastie. So, guys, I have done it's actually, I, I know my last video said 100 mile uh, test. I have actually done, I have actually done 80. Forgive me for that, misdemeanor. Let's find a pokey pointer. I use this for pointing. Right, so. Uh, want to do a quick video on some basic maintenance and setup. I have incorporated my knowledge of RC cars, four wheel drive RC cars using a independent suspension into this board. Um, so what do I mean by that? Well, firstly, let's backtrack. Let's do some routine maintenance. I found that these bolts here are uh, these nuts here that tension these eye bolts on the upper and lower A arms of this board were slightly loose. So I've tightened them up really tight. Um, I know some people have had a problem with these pulling out and that is likely because they've tried to tighten, they've undone this and they've tried to tighten that up without loosening that bolt. And all you're doing is effectively corkscrew pulling the the threads out of this piece of uh, aluminium so you don't need to do any of that just tighten these bolts up on all four corners so there is no play secondly because i have put these heavier springs in taken the lighter springs out i had a big reduction in steering sensitivity and steering circle as a result of having heavier springs in here so what i've done is i've increased the toe in and toe out which gives me a more sensitive steering feel and also gives me the ability to turn a tighter corner these things aren't great at turning tight corners particularly if you're a beginner like me and you're just learning how to use your weight but even my weight, this spring is probably a little bit stiff for me, but the red spring was definitely too loose. There's nothing in between. So I prefer to go with the stiffer spring because it gives me higher uh, um, uh, stability at speed. But I want to increase the steering sensitivity. So I've increased the toe in and toe out on the front and rear. So this is the front. And these are the uh, um, tie rods that I have changed. They all come. I measured the distance between the base of the eye here and where the bolt stem starts on either end. So that point there to that point there stock all were 80 millimeter. I've changed them all to 75 millimeters. So making them shorter by five mil. That gives me on the front. This is the front. I have to look at the lights to know which ends the front. It gives me more toe out on the front and it gives me more toe in on the rear. Now, I know it looks extreme, but this is without any weight on it. When I put my weight on it, these angles decrease slightly. So uh, so they they are far less when I'm stood on it, but they do give me the ability to have more steering and a more sensitive feel to the steering. So. We're getting there, guys. This is just the same as any other vehicle. It needs to be tuned. It needs to be, you need to check it over. Um, I'm so pleased I did check it over and I saw that some of these had backed out because if you don't and they back out and there's a lot of movement here, you're going over rough stuff. Again, you're going to damage the threads. So all the threads are fine. I've tightened them up. And after every decent ride I do, I'll just give a quick visual in inspection of those of those uh, nuts on those eye bolts to see how they are doing. That is what I wanted to share with you. I'm going to go out for a ride later. The sun is out. Maybe I film it. Maybe I don't. I'm still getting used to it. I don't know. But I will be filming rides soon. Peace.